Hello, hello, welcome. I am Joa Muñe and today I want to show you how to achieve a distress effect on your letters. That's the effect I am giving to my sign that you can see here at my back. So this style works perfect when you want that your sign looks all rusted, the time has passed through them, right? For this technique, you are going to need a chisel brush and you're going to need sign writing paint. Here I show you what I have done so far. So notice that the, the strokes of the paint are very irregular, right? You can see sections that are like full paint, or like full color, but you also could see the lines created by the brush. So that's what you're looking for. You're looking for something that is not perfect, that is not like with a system. Sometimes you get the empty spaces here, sometimes you get it over here. So you don't want consistency, of course. You want good strokes, you want like clean curves and everything, but you want these spaces, these gaps on the letters, right? Check here how the rest look. So the first thing you want to take into account for getting a good distress effect is that you want to work only with the point of your brush and you don't want to apply too much pressure. Why? Because when you apply too much pressure to the surface, you are going to get like blocks of paint and that's not what you want. What you want is to leave the mark of the like the uh, teeth that your brush makes. Okay, let's start painting. Very gentle. I just pass the brush on top of the surface. Here I want to show you the consistency of my paint. You can notice how thick it is. So that's what you want. Check that it takes a while for the first drops to appear. And that's what you want. You want that the brush kind of drags against the surface instead of having the paint very liquid. Additionally, when you load your brush, kind of clean it a lot. Clean it, pat, Palette, palette your brush, and then you will get like the points of your brush there, and that's what is going to give you the texture. If you want to learn more about sign painting, I have online courses that you could start doing on your own pace and at home. So check my website and yeah, sign up. So I just load my brush and palette a lot. I want to remove as much paint as possible from the brush. And then I place my brush very upright. Usually when I paint, I paint more like this. But right now I just want the little hairs to touch the bare minimum my surface. pressure of my stroke doesn't need to be consistent all the way of the stroke. So if I feel that it's getting too much pain, then I kind of release the pressure. I like to do first the borders and then I just refill the gaps and give a little touch here and there. The more relaxed you are, the better the strokes will come. As well, notice that I have a good distance from my panel, from my sign. I'm 
those are little tips that work not only for distress but for painting any style i hope you find it useful and easy to apply keep in mind that when you are doing a distress effect you only give one layer or one coat of paint so you will save a lot of time and at the same time it's fast simple it's relaxing Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.